Hey everybody, I am John Merritt from VaughnsProduce.com and in this lesson we're going to continue on just looking at replacement plugins that you can use to make Cubase Elements, AI and LE as if it were Cubase Pro-ish. So what we're going to cover in this lesson is pitch correction because in Cubase Pro you have what is called Very Audio which looks something like this when you load it up. So what it does is it basically maps the pitch of the words sung or any sort of monophonic instrument and then you can then sort of tweak the pitch just by grabbing these blocks and just moving them up or down or whatever or you can just sort of select a load and you can sort of quantize the pitch together. So I went a hunting and I found a half decent replacement for this um, but first of all long story short there is no really great very audio replacement or melodyne replacement but we'll touch on that in a second the only free plugins you can get that do pitch correction are more like the old style sort of auto-tune plugins which don't let you tweak the individual notes like you can in very audio what they do is apply an algorithm of which certain parameters are controllable by you and that analyzes the pitch and corrects the pitch on the fly as you play back the song so it's not as good but it's still better than nothing and of course if you are really serious about your vocals then I highly recommend either uh, taking the jump and upgrading to the pro version of Cubase where you get Very Audio 3 which is all nicely integrated or you can use Selemony's Melodyne which you can get for again around about sort of £74 for the super basic version but it is pretty good it does integrate into Cubase so you can use it like a plugin and you get the same sort of pitch controls as you do in Very Audio so it is a step up uh, from what I'm going to show you with this free plugin. So the free plugin that we're going to look at is called M Auto Pitch. So just Google or whatever search engine that, and then we go to melderproduction.com and you can download it here, but you have to actually download the sort of whole bundle. You don't have to install the whole bundle. Uh, we'll get to that in just a second, but if you just do it, download it. So we're going to go for the free download. Obviously, support them if you can. And we'll go for the latest Windows version. And of course, you can sign up if you want. You don't have to. Okay, so once it's downloaded, you can click on it. Now, I will just take you through the sort of first steps of the installation because it's not... 100% straightforward. There are sort of a few things you want to look at, although it is easier than the soft tube installation, just saying. So next, I agree, next. Now you don't want to install the VST plugins, just the VST3 plugins is easier and no AAX. Obviously this is for Cubase users. And then on this page here, basically, I think it comes with pretty much most of these selected. So you want to click select none to start off with because you don't want to install all of these plugins uh, a lot of them will be demos the green ones are free so you can install them if you want to so we want to m audio pitch free go next a destination directory should be fine because we're installing vst3 so no problem just click next and install so back in cubase and this is actually a drum and bass track actually that we made a tutorial on in cubase 10 so go check that out if you're interested in how to make a drum and bass track from start to finish the link is in the description and obviously it's quite a vocal track it sounds something like this So as you can hear, a nice bit of sort of pretty much liquid drum and bass. So the vocal is certainly not in any way, shape or form bad vocal. And the tuning that it needs is fairly minor. It actually sounds pretty decent as it is. In all my lucid dreams, it's you and me. And every lucid dream is you and me. So the vocal sounds pretty nice. There's just a couple of words in there um, which you have to kind of listen for, but there's some that are just a bit sharp, a bit on the sharp side, and some which are a bit on the sort of flat side. So I'm going to load up the M Audio Pitch plugin. So just know that that's under Pitch Shift when you've installed it as a VST3, M Auto Pitch, and this is the plugin's interface. So if you just play it as it is standard, we've got 50% depth, which basically means that it's going to be correcting the vocal by 50%. So whenever it automatically detects that the pitch is slipping off a note, it will automatically correct that and it will sort of tighten it up and snap it to the actual note. In all my lucid dreams, it's you and me in every lucid dream. Uh, you can hear it already sounds a little bit robotic. It's a bit too intense, so let's just bypass it and play it. In all my 
So you can hear it's definitely correcting the pitch, but it is a little bit too intense. And you can see down here, you can see where the actual pitch variances are. So that red line is showing that the pitch is out by a certain amount. And then we have actually, you can pick the scale and everything that you want to use. So we're actually in D sharp for this particular project. Um, and I believe it's D minor, D sharp minor. So you can click that and the minor and you'll see that here the note selection has changed so all the red notes are the notes in the D sharp minor scale and if I play this you can hear it suddenly become even more robotic so this is one of the sort of strange things about it because vocals a lot of the time notes will sort of slide from one note to another note and that goes over a note that might not be in the actual scale of the song but it actually sounds completely fine just because of the way vocals work so actually i recommend not using a particular scale on pitch correction unless the vocal you've got is like super out and you want a super super tight and slightly sort of robotic auto tune sound which is fine then yes you want to select the scale that you're using and the note the key of the scale but in a track like this where the vocal is actually pretty good already you don't want that so i'm just going to select all of these notes and you get a much more natural sound in all my lucid dreams, it's you and me. now really the only couple of things that you've got to watch out for is the depth and the speed so if i turn the depth right down it's going to do minimal correction in all my lucid dreams, as in it will just play it completely naturally but usually you want sort of somewhere in the region of about 20 to 30 percent correction in all my lucid dreams, it's you and me. that's about the limit of where it actually sounds natural even that's just pushing the boundaries of it um, and the speed as well so with this particular vocal the speed slightly slower actually sounds better in all my lucid dreams, and the speed is just how quickly it's going to correct the pitch when it detects that it's actually slipping out. So somewhere around those base settings is pretty good. I wouldn't really mess with the other settings. Uh, the effects can be quite cool. So one really cool thing about this particular plugin is that you've got formant shifting. So one thing that I show in particular in this drum bass tutorial and the recording and mixing vocals course in Cubase 10 is formant shifting in very audio. So you can tweak the individual words to sort of give a slightly, uh, it's almost like a pitched up effect, but what you're doing is actually shifting the dominant frequency of a vocal or whatever it is that you're putting through. And um, that's what formant shifting does. But you've actually got formant shift control in here. So you can use this uh, to tweak the vocal as it's being sung. And obviously you can record the automation from this. So just hit right automation uh, and then record whatever formant shifting it is you want to do. In all my lucid dreams, it's you and me. In every lucid dream, it's you and me. So it's actually a really good little tool to have, and I'm really pleased that this free plugin has actually got formant shifting in because it's a really uh, nice little trick to be able to add some sort of extra interest to your vocals. So again, it's not exactly a perfect solution it's not the ultimate vocal pitch correction um, unfortunately that just doesn't exist unless you're willing to uh, get very audio 3 in cubase 10 pro or to even get the melodyne software which is a bit cheaper but gives you that extra control so you can literally tweak every single note and add formant shifting to each individual note etc etc but it does still work it is a workaround yes and it's not perfect yes but for a completely free plugin and the ability to actually tweak your vocals and make them sound better well it's not bad okay so that's it for this lesson i hope that was helpful for you give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you loved it and i'll see you guys and girls in the next one where we actually look at a replacement synthesizer a free replacement synthesizer for what would be retrolog which is an analog modeled subtractive synthesizer thanks very much for watching i'll see you in the next one